Smile and learn. Good morning. Welcome to my little farm. My name is Trevor Deviser. I'm super excited for your visit. I have a lot of animals, mostly sheep and chickens. You can see that they have plenty of room to roam, but now that winter is coming, they will need shelter. I want my animals to be very comfortable, so I will build stables and chicken coops where I will group them. It's important that the chicken coops and stables are full and that there aren't any of them left out in the cold. For that, I will use the divisibility rule. It's a custom in my family. Do you want me to remind you? The divisibility rules allow us to know quickly if a number is divisible by another. That is, if dividing one number by another, the remainder is zero. When a number is divisible by another number, the number that we have divided it by is known to be its divisor. Today we'll learn about the numbers that are divisible by 4 and 8. Numbers divisible by 4. I love my sheep very much. I know all 344 names. As I want them to be comfortable, I have thought about building stables where they can rest in groups of four without any of them being left out. Let's recap. There are 344 sheep, and I want four to sleep in each stable. To find out if I can put them in groups of four without any left in the cold, I will use the divisibility rule of four. The method is based on two rules. If any of them is fulfilled, it means that our number is divisible by four. First, we have to check if the last two digits of the number we want to divide are zeros. If so, then we already know that it is divisible by four. Let's check the number of sheep I have. Wow, it's 344. The number doesn't end in two zeros, so we have to check its divisibility with the other rule I was telling you about. We will continue to look at the last two digits, but this time we will check if the number they form is divisible by 4. There are 344 sheep, so the last two digits are 44. Let's try dividing 44 by 4 and see if the remainder is 0. Yes, the remainder is 0 which means that our original number, 344, is also divisible by 4. Awesome! All the stables will be full! I'll have to work hard before winter comes. I don't want my woolly friends to be cold. Come on, let's go to the chicken area now. Numbers divisible by 8. There are 2,856 hens, and believe it or not, I know all of their names too. I'm going to build eight cedar coops. It's the perfect number for them to be comfortable. But I have the same question as before. Will any chicken coop be incomplete? To get rid of any doubt, I will use the divisibility rule of eight. With such a large number, it will be very useful. Let's go. To find out which numbers are divisible by 8, we have to look at their last three digits and see if they meet one of the two criterias for the divisibility rule of 8. First, we will check if the last three digits are three zeros. The last three digits of our number are 856, so this criteria is not met. Aw, oh, man. Second rule, we will check if the last three numbers are divisible by 8. That is, we have to divide them by 8 and look at the remainder. Let's do it! The remainder of 856 divided by 8 is 0. That is, it is a perfect division. This means that 2856 is divisible by 8, and therefore, no chicken coop will be incomplete. That's quite a few. I'll ask the whole Divisor family for help. Well, I'll start now. I have a lot of work ahead of me and winter is coming. Why don't you stop by my family's restaurant? It's called Divisor Diners. My brother Taylor is the owner. I'm sure he'd love to meet you. He also uses some very curious divisibility rules. You'll have a great time.
We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.